Jesse Otterblad. I'm a first year student here at Booth and prior to coming here I spent eight and a half years in the Marine Corps. I was uh, spent most of my time as a helicopter pilot and then towards the end of my, my time in the Marines I was a forward air controller in the infantry. Hey, I'm uh, Lamar Stanley. I'm a first year here at Booth. I'm originally from Corinth, Mississippi and I spent the past eight years as an intelligence officer in the Navy. My name is Eric Sewell. I was a field artillery officer in the United States Army for five years. Uh, I'm originally from Tallahassee, Florida. I played basketball and baseball at West Point. And then I spent most of my career at Fort Hood, Texas uh, with a one-year deployment to Iraq. Guys coming out of the military have actual leadership experience. Um, and people hiring or admissions staff at schools know that. So I'm really interested in a uh, general management role in a, in a large corporation. Um, I think one of the, the big uh, skills that you develop in the Army that, that maybe uh, people won't uh, have the chance to, to develop elsewhere is, uh, is leadership and uh, team building skills. So I think that's uh, particularly applicable uh, when you're in a general management role, especially early on and uh, you're expected to have uh, responsibility and uh, leadership over uh, a, lot of, a lot of people and resources. So I think, uh, I think it's a good fit um, transitioning, and uh, I, think, I think Booth is really what can be kind of the business background that I, that I haven't uh, developed yet to, uh, to combine with that and uh, make me successful uh, in the future. Probably the most important thing as a veteran, uh, for me anyway, coming to Booth was I was a little bit daunted at the idea of coming back to school in general, much less one of the top business schools because it's pretty daunting. I didn't really have any finance job, so to speak, over the past eight years. Uh, but the Booth Veterans Group network was extremely aggressive in integrating me into business school life from the from the get-go. They assigned me a mentor, and basically that was my guy that I could ask dumb questions, uh, just kind of off the record. Uh, he also, or actually a few others too, helped me with my resume industry specific, uh, and, and that went a long way towards demilitarizing my uh, resume, getting the jargon out of there, and, and, and conveying some of the things that we did into uh, sellable skills. So I am um, recruiting right now for consulting, and to be honest, I knew very little, as probably many military folks did, uh, coming in the booth about both the industry and kind of how my skill sets would translate. and. Uh, not only the veterans group, but also the management consulting group, um, mentorship, uh, as well as career services. is just really wired tight to get you up to speed really fast. I think one of the things that made the transition easier was the veterans network here at Booth and kind of throughout the business, business uh, community. There was, a, I reached out to the, the veterans here at Booth and they were they talked to me on the phone, they helped me prepare for interviews, and I've done the, since I've been here, I've done the same thing for guys applying. I would really encourage any veterans who are considering applying to uh, Chicago Booth to reach out to the Armed Forces Group. It's a great resource. Uh, all, the, all the guys and girls are, are very helpful, and um, they'll, uh, they'll really uh, kind of lead you through the process and uh, answer any questions that you might have in your uh, as you look to transition from the military to, uh, to the business world.